Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexandra. Welcome to my bedroom on this hot and humid late summer evening where I am returning to the high seas and this is Black Sail season two, episode four, and ding dong, Ned Low is dead. So surprised, I'm so surprised, but I'm also so happy because mm, the trope, go-to trope, <laughs> it seems to be of let's show how terrible this man is or how evil what have you by having them immediately threaten sexual assault go to sexual assault sexual assault is their thing to show their power that's a trope that for me gets really old really fast it works well because it's a terrible thing but i couldn't do like a game of thrones-esque whatever multiple episodes over multiple seasons of that behavior snooze fest so the fact that we wrapped it up right quick woohoo pleasant surprise and the way it was done where charles wasted no time now he's got a ship but i don't know how good this ship's gonna help him when he's on the fort with flint and whomever out i'm guessing i was gonna say guns train cannons train how do we get out of this one and I, <laughs> I'm not 100% sure who I want to root for. But the only way I'll find out is I've watched it. So I am ready to go. I think, I think I'm ready to go. So I have with me some water. I also have two cocktails because I snuck in a cocktail making video earlier. So I have an Applejack cooler that doesn't taste like anything really. It's, eh. Then I also have an apple jack rabbit, which is a little bit more pleasant, but because that doesn't have ice in it, I'll just hold it off to the side. Let me know what you're drinking. Also, while you're at it, hit subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Let me know where you are in the world. And before I forget, full episode watch along is available on Patreon. Housekeeping duties done? I think so. So let's get to it. It's our prisoner. <laughs> well, there's some extra protein on that bread. <laughs> shake it off, shake it off. Oh, just a little swipe's not enough. You gotta shake that shit. Go on. If you remain when the deadline arrives, I will respond swiftly and definitively. And as I currently sit foot... This is the messenger. Until dawn, Captain James Flint. Just leave it there and run. Drop it and run. Put him behind a door somewhere. I want him home when he delivers my answer. Well, he's got that going for him, keeping him safe. We have no guns that can reach his position. No, somehow. Flint knew exactly where to sit. Because Horny Gold's with him and telling him all of the fort secrets. And find out how close I can get. Now, Flint does not yet know, I'm guessing, that Vane technically has a ship. Now, whether Vane could get to said ship and make any sort of advance is yet to be seen. I had no idea this was coming. I had no idea that Flint would be so fucking reckless. Yes, should have. Itself. I had no idea Hornigold would be so fucking petty as to divulge you secrets about its have. weaknesses. Risk its destruction for his own personal gain. You should have. I can turn that whole goddamn bay into a graveyard. But you won't. You doubt me? No. What? I have faith in your ability to formulate a plan more effective than this. So, Eleanor. You want him to take them out? I guess she technically knows where the gold... Did Flint tell her where the gold was? After we secure possession of what's left of the fort, how long will it take you and your men to rebuild what we've destroyed? Ten weeks before the batteries are restored. Twice that to resecure the interior. A short window that coincides with a British warship sitting at anchor 40 miles from here. We'll just have to keep our fingers crossed for a while then, won't we? I hope for a hurricane. One, we have no intent of following through. 
But we'd be fools to ignore the catastrophic risks that lie down this road. I have committed men and resources to aid you in retrieving the oak of gold. If the sun rises tomorrow in vain has not ceded to our demands, then what will you do? Oh, we're back in time. We are back in time. He said he wanted to see you right away. What about? Us. It's all right. It has nothing to do with you and I. Uh. Mm. Remains to be seen. That is a gorgeous color gown, though. Gorgeous. As he stares, contemplating into the fire. You'll be arriving in less than two hours. Lord Proprietor to the Carolina Colony, including the Bahama Islands, and Peer of the Realm. Lord Alfred Hamilton. That's father. My father. Ah. I'm told he expects a full report of our efforts to devise a plan for the management of NASA. I'm concerned about how he'll receive one particular part of it. These past few months, I have come to trust you. When my father arrives, I intend to propose something to him which could be very dangerous politically. What is it you want me to help you with? I want you to try to talk me out of it. <laughs> okay. Oh, is, is, is Charles going to ask Jack of a, a favor right quick now that they're back to being buddies? Is today some sort of holiday that I've forgotten about? Spanish warship anchored in the bay. Word is it's Flint's crew sailing, huh? But it's scaring the shit out of everyone on the beach. I think we should try and do some of them inside. Oh, good luck with that, pumpkin. Does who have what? Did Flint get to the Urca gold? Does everybody know about this gold then? Everybody knows about this gold. The situation is as we feared. That warship is fully outside our field of fire. And given our severe disadvantage, must she provide us valuable leverage? Make sure Flint knows the moment he fires those guns, her body gets dumped over the wall. Oh, he is, he is talking about threatening Eleanor. Open the gate. So Vane's cannons won't reach the ship, but Flint's cannons will reach the fort? Is that what they're saying? What are you doing here? Putting an end to this. Because you're so good at it, Eleanor. <laughs> Captain Vane has issued a reply to your ultimatum. It's being read aloud on the beach as we speak. Is it just two words? Fuck off. Give us the room. I have as much room. Now, please. He took tone. Such a badass. And you must ask yourselves who represents the greater threat to your interests. My men in this fort or the madman on the water. Oh, oh, because he's reading that to the people. To turn this all into political theater in which he is the defender of the island's welfare. Are you suggesting he had help in crafting his reply? Did he? Absolutely. Your refusal to acknowledge the urgency of the situation gave me no choice but to but tell you Disregard our partnership. This is impersonal. <laughs> you want him out, here's how you do it. You move this ship. You allow him to save face on this score. And then you and he and I sit down at a table and we sort it out. And I am perfectly aware of the danger that presents. But when it comes to Charles Vane, you and I simply do not see him in the same way. Meanwhile, this poor girl is down in the dungeon, just chilling. Oh, Charles. Okay, I didn't think this would be on his radar <laughs> at the moment. He's got other things going on. As such, no harm will come to you as long as you do exactly as I say. It's the other one. He said no talking. You don't need to worry about him anymore. How can you be sure? Cut his head off. Good. 
Oh, so Lo made a right quick impression on her. Your father is Lord Peter Ash. What is the total value of his estate? I don't know. Yeah, I don't think she would How know the names? value of his How estate. That he may know. I haven't seen him in years. Are you close with him? You're asking if he loves me. He'll pay you what you ask. Interesting answer. And write the following. You're a prisoner of the pirate captain Charles Vane. The lighting in this is fabulous. The next contact I'll make will be to arrive in Charlestown Harbor with you in my possession. Oh, Charles, you thinking you're going to survive the next 48 hours of whatever's going to happen with Flint? Well, he is multitasking well, isn't he? They have pledged their services to Captain Vane to defend the fort and to discourage any move against it. Hmm. It seems his pronouncement has had the intended effect. I'll get to the beach, appeal directly to the crews. And stop anyone else from going up there, we can keep this from getting out of hand. Oh, they're just gonna go. And okay, out in the open and, and not expect any little skirmishes in town as they're going about. Can I assume when you say you'll go to the beach to make this appeal, you mean me? All right then. So to stop any more men from joining his side isn't a prerequisite that we try and understand the thinking of the men who've already joined him. Are you asking my opinion? I think Flint wants an ally really, really bad to work stuff off of. It's possible this has nothing to do with the fort, nor with Vane. Perhaps it's just them expressing their opinions about you. I see you as the agent most likely of securing my share of the gold on that beach. As long as that remains true, I am not bothered in the least by whatever labels anyone else decides to affix to you. Which also means that if somebody shows better qualities to get John that gold, his allegiances will will switch. And I don't even know if I said the right word, but that's the word I'm using right now. It bothers you, doesn't it? What they think. Always has. Will we pardon? I'm sorry, what was that? I want to pardon them. You want to pardon them? Yes. How many? All of them. If you propose this to your father, he will almost certainly distance himself from it and most likely from you. My advice to you is that this is a maneuver only to be approached with utmost caution. <laughs> like, wait till you get there and then say, mm, we're going to pardon them all. But as your friend. <clears throat> Are they friends? Are they friends? They came through the gate like locusts, Vane and his men. Brothers of mine being hacked to pieces. It wasn't the screams that haunt me most, it was their laughter. Oh, I'm sure they did laugh. They said no one survived a raid from Captain Ornigal's crew. Well, I guess one of them must have gotten away. Thank you. Lovely performance. Oh, ah, stealthy. Stealthy. Fuck's going on in there? Pulled a man out of the water. <gasps> Another one? We were just about to send for one of you. You're a walrus man, aren't you? They put him back in the water? He's one of yours. They put him back in the water. So, John. What do you do with this information? What do we do with this information? To see this fort protected from all enemies, all threats. Oh, are people like making their, their cases to be the leader now? Represents the greatest threat. My man in his fort or the madman on the water. How many cries did you pay? Oh. Four total, as you asked. Well, that's who it is and the minister was there. He just won't listen to me. But perhaps he would listen to an appeal from you. If you believe anyone can make him see anything, you must not know him very well at all. Please, help me to dissuade him from putting us on that path again. If you're concerned for your safety, perhaps you should request sanctuary along with your father at the Underhill Estate. I'd be happy to carry the message. Wow. Wow. But Flint, don't you care enough about him to at least try to stop him from doing this? You do you? who have enabled him encouraged his violence you ask if i care about him get out of my house eleanor you are terrible at this 
Well, the people in the brothel hut don't seem to worry about what's happening at the fort. You must care for her a great deal. Not once a night did you so much as look in my direction. I've seen enough to know to keep my distance from you. This situation was not of my making. If it was anyone's, it was yours. I'm sorry, what? What is happening here, the three of us, it is only temporary. A state of denial until she finally makes a choice. Does Max want Anne to choose her? Anne and I have been by each other's side since she was 13 years. Oh, Jesus, so young. And what if I can get you back on the water with a crew? Would I still only seem indispensable then, too? It's a Featherstone. Been a regular for months now. The navigator on the Colonial Dawn. Mm -hmm. Put my tongue in his bum, he'd tell me anything. I don't know if I'd want to put my tongue in the, these, these men's bums with the hygiene of the time. We have a plan to sway him and his men to our camp. I'm going to fuck the living shit out of him. Mon Dieu, Idel, serve tes paroles. It cannot be cast into doubt the moment the pleasure fades, and for that, you cannot just fuck him. You must seduce him. The breath in his ear. The arc in your back when he thinks he is making you finish. When he thinks. He thinks. <laughs> The story you tell him that night about when you were a little girl, about the place you hid from your mother where the world was quiet, that tells him despite the thousand other men you've awoken beside, that he is unique and that you cannot live without him. Just so we're clear, I still the shit out of him, yes? Yes. Tell me again, who are those men camped out in your family storehouse? What men? Perfect. <laughs> We're doing wrong. He can't be on the ship right now. Oh, wait. Brandle's on shore, too? Understandably, has some feelings about the events of this past Wow. Week. And it's only been a week. It's only been a week. <laughs> it's only been a week. What was that? Mm -hmm. I had a feeling he was going to ask for gates. And what do you tell him, John? I know she's dangerous. Especially to me. I hit my white head about her. She knows it. But I'm asking you to do this for me. Do what exactly? I want you to watch my back on the other side of that door. Oh, gotcha. Because I know as long as you are, there ain't shit she can do to get between us. Oh. 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 Mr. Featherstone will announce to his shipmates tomorrow that he has joined a new crew. Your crew. So they have a navigator. He believes a number of his men will join him upon hearing this news. At least 28 men. Wow. That's not insignificant. In addition to these new recruits, you would be granted command of their ship as well. Does the captain know this? Congratulations, captain. That seems a little too good to be true. Support is in our favor, though division amongst the remaining crews is rampant. Reports of skirmishes amongst and within the camps has been arriving. With Numbers, I please. suspected that. Perhaps we can discuss the one element you've so conveniently elected to ignore. What about the pirate raiders of Nassau? I want to put them to work. To work? What? Tilling, harvesting, coopering, building, smithing, fishing. What are you talking about, Thomas? <laughs> I intend to secure them pardons in exchange for his allegiance, his renunciation of violence, and his labor. And how are you going to pay them, I think, is my question. And if they say no? Let's see. Lieutenant, am I right to assume that a proposal such as this would Don't send... look at him. Talk to me. My son is impertinent, Lieutenant. 
Perhaps you could explain to me how you intend to distract the Queen from her <laughs> war to issue these pardons. Isn't your goddamn salon, Thomas? And if I you don't do not care forgive to men their to sins, your father will not forgive your I sins. I don't want to hear it! I know you don't. Lieutenant. <laughs> Am I to assume by your silence that you're in agreement with this proposal? The Lieutenant has dutifully expressed his reservations. Madam. You have done enough to damage the good name of this family. How? I would ask that you keep both your mouth rumors? and your legs firmly shut. The rumors? I support it. <gasps> I find his intent to be good and true, and I find yours wanting, sir. Oh. And now I think it's time you left, sir. He's dismissing the Lord from Thomas's house. Does he have the power? Apparently so. Did you just ask my father to leave his own house? Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> We must all go have sex now. <laughs> Heard of your efforts to join our community, to make a fresh start. After what happened between you and I, I wanted to believe that as vile as the act was. As vile as the act was. I hear that one of the thieves on the beach, desirous of impressing her, assaulted another, killed him. Were this not monstrous enough, talk is it was all in service of stealing a young girl intended to be ransomed to her father. Oh, that word got around too. Okay. Lord Ash's daughter. What was her name? Her name was Abigail Ash. Absolution. A clean slate for all those willing to... What does this mean? I am committed to this end. But it is a long road and I will need your help to see it through. Are those the ashes? <gasps> Who are now departing? How can I help? I don't believe you've been properly introduced. My good friend, Lord Peter Ash. I knew. He was in that room, though. I at least knew he was in the room. <laughs> Eleanor, no empire, no longer. I think she has absolutely jack squat influence over anything that's going to happen in the next however many hours. <gasps> Pops. <laughs> You're so close to having everything you've wanted. Everything I told you, you'll never have. It's within your reach. I came to help you get it. Why? Yes, the cocktails are affecting me and I'm having trouble putting the pieces together. Richard Guthrie sat on the throne of commerce when I arrived. And his daughter took his place, made Nassau strong. I wonder how many know that there was one man standing behind them. Ooh. Ooh. What would you do? He honestly wants your opinion, sir, I believe. I fear that to take that fort will be to divide this island in the most dangerous way. To force men to take sides against each other. At a time when our very survival demands the very opposite. So? I would teach myself to see Captain Vane as an unfortunate but unavoidable change in our landscape. And I would ensure that we all live to see the sunrise again tomorrow. So how do you propose to do that? It's sunrise! It's sunrise! Maybe you should have had this discussion an hour prior. What 
say you, Captain. gonna be fire <laughs> well they certainly painted themselves into some corners didn't they so the flashback episodes I'm trying to pay attention to but it's a lot of words and a lot of ideas and I'm a picture person I need to see both words and pictures at the same time to make it click for me and I'm also imagining <laughs> The Bahamas area is a very small part of the world. And the way they talk on the show when they're in England talks as if the Bahamas has limitless resources to take from that they need. But in my head, I see the Bahamas area and that's it's very, very tiny. So you can only farm it or whatever, cultivate from it. For so long and again the the majority of these lords and people are in england bahamas they can't even imagine what it is it's so far away they've never seen a picture they've only heard some stories so why would they care why would they care either way that is what my head is thinking to two cocktails in and then somehow along the way the three of them the hamiltons and flint end up going there I'm taking it James has been there before? Has Thomas been there before? And somewhere along the way, James turns into Flint. Is this a story that's gonna take over this whole season and the next to get to? I wonder out loud. And Billy's on the shore. How did Billy get washed up on this shore? Last we saw he was being tortured. And what does his presence and reemergence means for flint and the urca and i do think it's funny that amongst <laughs> the issue with flint and what do we do and uh, 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 charles is still going oh yeah we gotta ransom this girl <laughs> i need to make that happen and what does abigail now bring to the table we are introducing a lot of threads now that also jack jack's got a crew Okay. <laughs> yeah, so for halfway in through season two, we're introducing still a lot of new things. How does it lay out? The tapestry that is being woven is crazy pants. And now we've got a cannon going off. Well, there we go. Episode four or 12. <laughs> However, they're naming them. <laughs> But thank you so much for being with me on this adventure. And until next time, this is your reminder to stand up, touch your toes, walk around the living room, and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, you all. And until next time.